Hello and welcome back to another video. So today I thought it would be fun to share my top 10 closet staples for a minimal classic wardrobe. That was a mouthful. So I'm gonna be going through the pieces one by one and just slowly explain to you why I think they are closet staples. For me personally, they may not be for you, but for my classic and minimal wardrobe, these are my timeless closet staples that I keep in my wardrobe season after season. These are also pieces that are the foundation of my wardrobe and I like to build other outfits around these closet staples. Let's get into number one. So the first closet staple is a black t-shirt. As you can tell, I've had mine for a few years. You can tell that it's slightly faded. It's not super black anymore, but I still love this one the most. The one I have is from Muji. It's 100% cotton. I just really like the fit of it and the cut. So for me personally, I prefer t-shirts that are crew neck. They are just a lot easier to style and they're not as fussy as like a v-neck or a boat neck. I just like a nice simple classic crew neck. Black t-shirt is a must. Number two is pretty much the same, but a white t-shirt. So why I think black t-shirts and white t-shirts are staples are because they just go well with everything. If you're building a lighter outfit, you can style it with a white t-shirt. If you have a dark outfit, but you want a pop of lightness or brightness to your outfit, throw on a white t-shirt. If you want a monochromatic or more moody kind of look, you can go for the classic black tee. Number three. So this one was a hard one for me because I love all kinds of knitwear, but if I had to choose one piece of knitwear for a closet staple, I would go with an oversized cardigan. So this one here is by Tradlands. I've had this one for years. It has held up so nicely, no pilling or anything because this one is actually made of cotton, so it's not wool. Wool tends to pill a lot more easily. It's a little bit more delicate. If you want a really robust closet staple, I'd go for a classic cotton oversized cardigan. And oversized is key for me. I really love oversized silhouettes. I just like how they flow on the body and really pull an outfit together. So this one is a very classic looking piece. Just has three big buttons down the front. It's a longer v-neck and yeah, it's got a lot of weight to it. So for me, I am typically an extra small, but I sized up to a small so that I would have more of a slouchy oversized fit to it. So that's number three. All right, so number four. If you followed me for a while on Instagram, you'll know how much I love a classic black turtleneck. This one is one that I've had for many years now. I, I wanna say I've had this for about five or six years. This one is a washable wool turtleneck that is from a fast fashion brand. It's actually from Uniqlo, but it has actually held up so well. Investing in something that is a good quality material can definitely extend the life of your pieces. So I've had this one for many, many years and it is still going on strong and it's definitely my favorite turtleneck, black turtleneck goes with everything, goes with jeans, trousers. It's a great base piece, especially I live in Canada, it's super cold. So I wear turtlenecks all the time in the winter. What number are we at? I think we're at five. Okay, we'll continue with the tops. So number five is an oversized shirt. Again, if you've seen any of my outfits on Instagram, you'll know how much I style this piece. I get a ton of questions about it, but unfortunately it's just an old um, vintage denim shirt from my dad, but it's just the perfect oversized fit. It's great in the spring and summer because it's so lightweight and breathable, but again, it's also a great layering piece in the winter. So I can easily throw this over a chunky knit or a turtleneck because it's so oversized. So if you don't already have an oversized shirt of some sort, it doesn't have to be denim, you got to get yourself one. And then the next one is quite similar, but a jacket or a jacket of some sort. This one here that I'm wearing is by Everlane. It's this nice brown color. So I know that shackets are a trend, but I actually really love them. A shacket or a chore jacket. Some kind of structured coat is a really great added layer. I get a ton of use out of them and the layering really makes your outfits a lot more interesting. So shackets, jackets, chore coats, I lump them all into the same category and they make a great closet staple. All right, moving on to the bottoms. So again, if you know me, you know I love my denim, my straight leg jeans. I think they are a super classic cut. I love a high rise waistline. And these ones here are the 90s cheeky jean. They are just such a classic straight leg jean. I think this straight leg cut is super timeless and can go well with a lot of different pieces. And the final bottom are a pair of trousers. Straight leg, tapered, whatever you prefer, but I think trousers or pants are a really great closet staple. So I have this pair here, they're by Veta Capsule. They're 100% tensile, which is a nice, lightweight, breathable material. Really great for spring, summer. A little bit cold for 
deep deep freeze winter here in Canada but they can be layered on top of a pair of leggings or something on the inside this is a classic staple but in the winter I like to opt for a wool pair because they're a little bit warmer for where I live so number nine and ten I saved for footwear for my footwear I had to really be picky because I think I have a pretty minimal shoe collection already but there are some other styles that I really love too but I just saved two spots for the shoes so if I really had to choose I would first of all go with a pair of black ankle boots so this one here has a little bit of a heel and it has a square toe versus a round toe which I think gives the classic ankle boot a bit of a fun twist black ankle boots they just go well with everything and number 10 are classic white sneakers. I think they just look good with everything and they give a more casual, relaxed vibe to the look. So if you have a pair of casual shoes and then a pair of more formal boots, then you pretty much have everything you need. So those are my top 10 staples for a classic and minimal wardrobe. I know everyone has different staples and I'd love to know what your closet staples are. So make sure to leave me a comment down below. If you're curious to see how versatile these staples really are, make sure to keep watching and I'm gonna share a couple of outfits with you. So I hope you enjoyed today's little fashion video. If you have any other things that you want to see from me, maybe my minimal shoe collection, my capsule wardrobe, anything like that, please leave a comment down below and let me know what you'd like to see from me. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like this video and subscribe for more, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.